Choose life. Choose a job. Choose a career. Choose a family. Choose a fucking big television. So, how many copies is too many copies of Train Spotting? Is four too many? Let's have a look. Oh, sideways on, sorry. So, this is Train Spotting, the 1990 <coughs> film from Scotland. And yeah, it was the British film of the decade. And it was everywhere when it came out. It's got a good soundtrack. And this orange cover is the original one. So you got that one. Now I thought this one was faded in the sun because it's all yellow, but apparently not. It's a polygram release, and the other one is a polygram filmed entertainment release. So apart from the back, because it does continue the yellow on the back, so I don't think it got faded that way, but it's all exactly the same, except by that little mark there. So we have a green one now. Now this was another one, choose the green edition. So it's got nine extra scenes cut from the film and a trailer and a promo video by Born Slippy. Uh, da, 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 yeah, that one. So slightly different, still has the same film. Limited green edition, only 190,000 at least were made. And then the final green version is the same, except it's widescreen this time. So this is the only one version with the film is different. This one's only got 13,641. A bit less limited edition, but still it could be 200,000 for all I know. So yeah, this is 149 minutes where the original release is 129 minutes. So you get 20 extra minutes put back into the film, I guess. Yeah, there we go. So depending on what mood I'm in, and depending on what you want to watch. There we go. Thanks for watching. Here under the lesson.